it shuts off all filters and switches it to digital mode, does all of it at all at once, and can bring up you know, El Digi and it's gone. And that works uh, really well for that kind of stuff. Uh, as far as the programming goes, uh, Kenwood covered the programming really well. Uh, and uh, like I said, it, it, I didn't want that particular second receiver uh, that the 590 or the 990 got because I don't really need that bigger radio. Uh, it's just way too much radio for me. Uh, they're looking at it real close. And uh, the reason I bought the 590 was that the, uh, the 7300 hadn't come out yet and they were dragging their feet. So I decided I couldn't wait. <laughs> so I bought 590. And uh, actually I'm glad I did because it, uh, it's more compatible with what I do and more compatible with the uh, the uh, SDR play unit, uh, they have, uh, those guys have, uh, I think, designed a, a SDR play around the 590s, or any Kenny kind of for that matter. But uh, anyway, uh, that's, that's about all I got on it. I think you'll really enjoy it. I, uh, I love this one to death. I think I've had it four years, and it just keeps cooking along over here. And I've, I've done all kinds of strange things to it, made it do all, all kinds of tap dances when I was working on the software for the. Uh, the uh, tuner, and uh, it, uh, it just keeps running. I've <laughs> got no complaints. It answers the call. V3TSC, W6USM. Uh, I think it goes to Jerry NI4F. Uh, probably need to take it now. Okay, well, again, congratulations, Lee. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's always nice to get things switched around, and uh, I was looking at your website, Dr. Said there, Jerry. Uh, you looks like you went through a lot of uh, a lot of calling here from uh, back in the day. Uh, you still have that stuff? Oh yeah, sure do. Love it. Yeah, I, I went through my Collins era back in the '90s and had uh, a couple S lines, a Kinetium two, and so forth. And it's kind of fun. Uh, it was kind of a constant maintenance drill, but it was uh, fun nevertheless. Oh yeah, there's always something messing up on, but. But it's easy to fix, right? I mean, compared to the stuff now, I mean, at least it's possible. Yeah, I don't think I'd work on that 990 of yours. I don't think I would either. I opened it up and had a look in there. It's scary. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, Chris, pick it up. Uh, W6USN, NI4F. Okay. Thing. Uh, it's a re uh, I think it's an RX output function, if I 
remember uh, uh, correctly from what I was watching, so uh, that would also work. So that means I'm going to have to put my uh, my uh, my SDR switch back in, so I can switch between the uh, the two radios. And uh, when I want to work off one or the other, because I, I don't like uh, screwing and unscrewing the uh, uh, the SMA connectors all the time. Uh, I'm sure that's going to wear something out. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm going to say seven three on this one. Uh, and uh, this, uh, I, I have a few things that I'd like to do before we watch our show. Uh, today being Friday, I, sh I should be on Saturday. But Sunday and Monday, I won't be. I won't be on the air. Uh, so I'll turn it over to Northern Ontario, Jerry. BA three JL VE three TSZ. Okay, excellent. Well, nice to meet you, Lee, and uh, the other fellas too. I'll get out of here at the same time. Go up and see about getting something to eat here. A little bit late dinner. So thank you so much for letting me in, and nice to meet you all. And we'll listen for you again. So have a great weekend coming up. Seven three. Do that. 
yeah, we used to have what we call that candy store down there in Memphis. And uh, me and my friend Jack, he just saw the key now. But uh, we used to go down there and look at all times, see what kind of new stuff he had and what kind of old stuff he had, you know, used. But uh, we ain't had no ham shop around here in a long time. I think we just called Memphis Amateur, I think. I think it was on Will States of Road. Okay, I, I, I just don't, never, never stopped there. I was wondering what, you know, what the name of it was, but anyway, we'll see, uh, we'll see uh, what happens. The good news is I'm not in a hurry, and, uh, you know, I'm fine happy with the radios that I have, so maybe I won't do anything, but uh, who knows, we'll just see. Well, one thing what I like about that 7610, it's got that dual receiver. Boy, I would really like that. Yeah, I, I, I like dual receiver, so that's a big, that's a big plus. Oh, well, Don ended up getting a, he ended up getting a 7610 off that guy. You know, he's going to get the 7600 or the 7610. He bought the 7610. I think it should be here next week sometimes. He sold his FTDX-10. That surprised me. I think the, the guy who bought it is coming to pick it up tomorrow, I, I guess. Oh, okay. Uh, well, he don't keep stuff too long. <laughs> no, he doesn't. I tell you what, if, if he keeps the radio for six months, that means uh, that he really does like it, and that's a record right there. He... He likes to play different stuff, but that's okay. You know, different people like different parts of the hobby. I've been kind of bad about selling some stuff, too, but I've kind of settled down, I will say, for the past year or so. Yeah, uh, they kind of got a nice show over here to try grounds tomorrow and that Sunday, but I ain't going to it. Uh, I went to the one last time. It, it was no good. But the, if, I tell you what, if it's a good one, it's nice to go to the one that no good. It's a big waste of time. But uh, I don't know. You, you Are you in the market for anything? I, I know you were going to do some reloading. Uh, you might come across something that you like. I don't know. Uh, so right now, I'm going to get that 7's uh, rifle 308, I'm going to get it, and, uh, and then uh, I'm going to get me a good scope to get on, uh, put on top of it, but uh, that's what I'm going to get later on, uh, and uh, I done called and talked to that lady at 7, told her what I wanted, so I got a ballpark figure on what it's going to cost. Now, what, what kind of scope do you think you might want to put on that thing? I'm going to get me a long-range scope on it. Uh, I, I want one that can reach out there at least 2,000, 3,000 yards. Uh, or a little bit less. I want one that's got a good field of view at least at a thousand, but uh, I want one that's uh, got the uh, rain finder on it, and uh, that's got the uh, ants on it that lights up to red or green, uh, that make a difference, but uh, I've been looking at a bunch of scopes, but boy, uh, it's a bunch of them out there, I ain't even people for it.
sometimes stuck at work and then back home and go to bed. It's time to get up and do it again, but I'm getting ready to make some changes in the schedule, so I will definitely have more time to uh, to do stuff. That's the plan, anyway. Anyway. Well, I tell you, have you heard, uh, has, has Ken been in tonight, or have you heard him lately? Uh, I didn't talk to him, I don't think, in about two days. Okay. Well, I just didn't know if he'd come in tonight with it being Friday night. I don't know if you'd had a big crowd, or if it was just kind of a uh, hit and miss, or just what? Well, you never know. I, I got—I was on 40 meters off by one evening billion. 